The world of sports is full of surprises, but one thing is certain. Winning is the ultimate goal. When it comes to football, the colour of a team's uniform may seem like a trivial detail, but research has shown that it could actually impact their chances of success. Multiple studies have found that teams wearing red uniforms tend to win more often than those wearing other colours. But why is this the case? Psychological advantage may be one of the key reasons why red teams tend to win more in football. The colour red has long been associated with power, passion and aggression, all of which can give the team wearing the red a psychological edge over their opponents. This is not just limited to human beings, as redness indicates anger, testosterone and male aggression in many animals as well. Several studies have also found that the colour red subconsciously boosts the player's confidence and affects their opponents as well. A research team from Plymouth and Durham University analysed the winning history of 68 top English teams between 1946 and 2013 and found that teams wearing red won more often than those wearing other colours. Examples of successful red teams in football are numerous. Liverpool, Arsenal and Manchester United are all known for their success on the field and have won numerous titles wearing red. Additionally, England's victorious World Cup team in 1966, led by Bobby Moore, famously wore red instead of their usual white and has not won a World Cup or European Championship since. The evidence suggests that the psychological advantage of wearing red may be a major factor in the success of these teams. Another reason why red teams may win more in football is the fear response triggered by the colour red, which can cause the opposing team to experience a fear response that can lead to mistakes and poor performance. Dr. Russell Hill and Dr. Robert Barton, researchers in evolutionary anthropology at the University of Durham, have conducted studies that support this theory. In a paper published in the journal Nature, Dr. Hill and Dr. Barton shared their observations from the animal kingdom where red coloration is often associated with male dominance. In humans, anger reddens the face, which may send signals of fierceness. To further study this phenomenon, the researchers analyzed the results of the 2004 Summer Olympics, where contestants in taekwondo, boxing and wrestling were issued red or blue protective gear at random. They found that athletes wearing red had a higher probability of winning. The researchers also looked at soccer, specifically the Euro 2004 International Soccer Tournament, and found that the five teams that wore predominantly red shirts did better. However, they asserted that it doesn't mean that a bad team can reverse its fortunes by simply wearing red. Yet another reason why red teams may have an advantage in football is due to the visibility of the colour on the pitch. Red is a highly visible colour that stands out, making it easier for players to spot their teammates and make quick, accurate passes. In fact, visibility has been a factor in some high-profile matches. Manchester United manager Alex Ferguson famously changed his team's grey kit at half-time because he believed that it was difficult for his players to see each other against the stadium's grey backdrop. Although the replacement kit was blue and white stripes, it still prioritised visibility. Speaking of the match, one cannot deny the referee factor. Referee bias is another possible reason why teams wearing red tend to win more in football. There's evidence to suggest that referees may be more likely to give favourable decisions to the team wearing red, possibly due to subconscious associations with power and dominance. A study conducted by German sports psychologists at the University of Munster found that referees were more likely to award points to taekwondo fighters wearing red compared to those wearing blue. The researchers showed video clips of taekwondo bouts to 42 experienced referees and digitally manipulated the clothing to swap the colours. The fighters wearing red were given an average of 13% more points than they were when they were wearing blue. This bias could extend to football matches as well. Ah, that's why Howard Webb helped United get those penalties. You never know. Some even suggest that teams that wear red are often associated with passionate fan bases, creating a more intimidating atmosphere for opposing teams and providing a boost to the home team. Stadiums like Liverpool's Anfield and Bayern Munich's Allianz Arena are notorious for their intense atmospheres, with fans known for their passionate support of their respective teams. The sea of red in the stands creates a visually overwhelming environment for visiting teams. 
potentially causing them to feel more pressure and distraction. Finally, it is possible that teams may strategically choose to wear red in certain situations, such as when playing against a particularly strong opponent or in a high-pressure game, in order to gain a competitive advantage. For instance, in the 2005 Champions League final, Liverpool wore their famous all-red kit when facing a dominant AC Milan team. Liverpool came back from a 3-0 deficit to tie the match 3-3 in regulation time, and eventually won on penalties. Some speculate that wearing red may have given Liverpool a psychological advantage and boosted their confidence during their dramatic comeback. But it's important to keep in mind that while the colour of a team's kit may play a role in their success, it's certainly not the only factor. Teams like Real Madrid and Chelsea have won numerous trophies without wearing red, and ultimately, hard work, skill and dedication are the most important factors in achieving success. While red may provide a psychological advantage, it's not a guarantee of success, and teams still need to work hard and perform at their best to achieve victory. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!